AEM 21-703P and 21-703C air intake systems are engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes and they come with a limited lifetime warranty. These AEM air intakes utilize a reusable dry flow air filter. This oil free filter is durable and very easy to clean. AEM 21-703P and 21-703C cold air intake systems fit 2011 Ford Fiesta models with 1.6 liter engines. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for up-to-date model details. These air intake systems are not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. AEM power testing showed an estimated power gain of 10.9 horsepower at 4100 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2011 Ford Fiesta with a 1.6 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. Here's a comparison of the Fiesta sound on the dyno with the stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions with pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Set the parking brake. If the engine has run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Stock airbox system installed. Disconnect the negative battery terminal using a 10 millimeter socket. Also disconnect the MAF sensor harness connector from the MAF sensor. Remove the electrical tape from the MAF sensor clip. Using needle nose pliers, loosen the hose clamp and disconnect the valve cover hose. Unclip the plastic tube from the two header clips. Disconnect the upper breather hose from the stock intake tube. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake tube to the throttle body. Then disconnect the stock intake tube from the throttle body. Disconnect the front air inlet duct using a flathead screwdriver. Ensure the MAF sensor harness connector and upper breather hose are tucked away from the airbox. Then carefully pull the stock airbox up and out of the engine bay. Raise the front of the vehicle with a jack. Remove the three 732nd bolts from underneath the front bumper. Remove the two T25 screws and one plastic clip from the front driver and passenger wheel wells. You may need to turn the wheels to access T25 screws. Remove the three plastic clips from each front inner wheel well liner. Pull back the front part of the wheel well plastic underlining and disconnect the front bumper light harness clips. Remove the three 8mm bolts securing the bumper to the fender on the driver and passenger side. Remove the four clips above the front grille and carefully slide the bumper off. Loosen the two plastic clips securing the lower grille air director on the driver's side and remove it. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Remove the self-tapping M6 bolt and red clip from the lower mount of the washer bottle reservoir. Replace with bolt removed in the previous step with the provided M6 bolt, M6 washer, and spacer. Remove the two self-tapping screws on the MAF sensor mounted to the stock airbox. Install the MAF sensor into the lower AEM intake tube with the two provided M4 screws. Insert the aluminum stand into the left rubber grommet of the factory airbox mount. Slide the provided M6 bolt through the spacer and rubber grommet. Slide a washer and M6 nut onto the M6 bolt. Thread the bolt on about three to four threads. From underneath the vehicle, position the lower intake pipe so the upper bracket slides between the rubber grommet and washer. Hand tighten the M6 nut, but do not fully tighten until instructed to do so. Slide lower bracket into place against aluminum spacer and fasten with the provided washer and M6 nut. 
Hand tighten the M6 nut, but do not fully tighten until instructed to do so. Install the air filter onto the lower intake pipe and secure with a number 44 hose clamp. Tighten the upper and lower M6 nuts on each of the mounting brackets once adequate clearance for the air filter is achieved. Using a mild soap mixture, attach the supplied 3 8 inch hose to the valve cover nipple and secure it with the factory hose clamp. Secure the 3 8 inch hose to the front upper radiator support using the provided zip tie. From underneath the vehicle, run the 3 8 inch hose around the radiator fan and use the provided tree mount zip tie to firmly secure the hose around the fan housing. Trim off the excess zip tie end after tightening. Attach the hose to the lower intake pipe's nipple and trim if necessary. Secure the hose onto the pipe's nipple using the provided small hose clamp. Install the two and one quarter inch to two and a half inch coupler onto the throttle body with the number 36 hose clamp. Slide a number 40 hose clamp onto the open end of the coupler. Insert the hump coupler onto the lower intake pipe with two number 40 hose clamps. Leave a one inch space between the upper bracket and the edge of the hump coupler. Tighten the lower hose clamp. Insert the upper pipe into the hump coupler with the nipple facing the battery. Slide the upper end of the pipe into the coupler attached to the throttle body. Ensure the pipe is seated in the coupler and secure both hose clamps on the throttle body coupler. Check the upper intake pipe's position with the hump coupler by squeezing the edge before the hump. Ensure there is proper clearance between the upper and lower pipes prior to tightening the hose clamps. Adjust the upper pipe's height if necessary and ensure the hose clamps are secured. Unclip the vacuum hose above the negative battery terminal and slide the hose out an additional inch, then refasten the clip. Attach the vacuum hose to the upper pipe's nipple and secure it with a small hose clamp. Connect the MAF sensor harness plug back into the MAF sensor and lock it down by pressing the red clip. Check for clearance around the AEM air filter and near the radiator and adjust if necessary. Install the bumper in the reverse order it was removed, ensuring all hardware is properly secured. Connect the harness plugs for the bumper's lighting on each side. Install the fender liner inner wheel well liner, and any hardware that was removed in steps 2i through 2j. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure that the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten the rubber mount, all bolts, and hose clamps. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust the pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and start the engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to AEMintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.